question and you only have 10 minutes to answer the question. Your answer is, and your question is, what do you prefer? A love marriage or an arranged marriage? Once again, what do you prefer? A love marriage or an arranged marriage? Thank you so much. I think that that's, this issue has been highly discussed yet often misunderstood. I know for a fact that religions such as Chinese or Muslims are getting into arranged marriage because that's what they believe that is their tradition. But according to my own personal experience, to my own personal perspective, I am for so love marriage because I firmly believe that love is something that you can never push through. Love is unconditional. Love is from within. And love is something that you can never force. That would be all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Riri Proina. Thank you so much. And as now, let's have our next candidate. Candidate, come on. Miss Tanya Marie Panila, also known as Miss Catherine Bernardo. So take a question, please. Okay, your question is What are your thoughts on the presentation of LGBTQIA plus individuals in media and entertainment? Once again, what are your thoughts on the presentation of LGBTQI plus A plus individuals in media and entertainment? Yeah. My thought is that I am very proud of the LGBT community entering the media precisely because we are so very talented, we are so skilled. But mind you, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to give an advice to my co-members of the LGBT community that we need also to know our limitations because we are the one who need to, to um, what do we call this, um, to express, um, to spread positivity love and kindness to each and every one of us, most especially to our followers and audiences. So that is my answer, my precise answer. And if that answer will be the reason for me to win or to lose for tonight's competition, then so be it. Because I will never ever bend my understanding for what is right, what is correct, and what is truly acceptable. Thank you very much. Once again, final for our candidate number one, Miss Tanya Marie Panela. Thank you so much. So this time, let's move to our next candidate, number seven, Miss Maria Sofia Alcantara. So, your question, please? Please, please speak a question. Hindi. <laughs> you see, version pinikino, huh? Thank you, Pusawan Tausa. Okay, so I have the question. Okay, I'm just going to take a question. Okay. Okay, how do you harmonize the pursuit of your personal happiness with all your responsibilities and expectations of society? Once again, how do you harmonize the pursuit of your personal happiness with all your responsibilities and expectations of society? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, di na po magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. We LGBT member was born in discrimination and humiliation by other people. But how am I able to handle it? It is because I am showing you everything natural what I got. Mga kaibigan, di lang nilangayit ng komunidad. Hindi po tayo dapat magpalayit. Hindi tayo dapat magpa-discrimina. Because I believe that discrimination needs to serve as a challenge for you to be the best version of yourself. So I believe, ladies and gentlemen, dito sa ating mundong ginagalawan, wala tayong dapat ipakita. Ipakita natin kung ano ang tayo. Because if you believe in yourself, nothing is impossible. Kaya sa lahat ng narin ito, I am convincing everyone that do not discriminate or humiliate other people because we are also human. Thank you so much. Once again, Canada, number seven is Maria Sofia Alcantara. And now, let's have candidate number five, Miss Karen Montesilio. The crowd's favorite. Yes, the crowd's favorite. So here's your question, Ma'am Karen. Okay. Do you think individu individuals are just fair out of fear of consequences or compassion for others? Once again, do you think individuals are just fair out of fear?
fear of consequences or compassion for others. For me, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are fair for ourselves, for our fear. Fair tayo sa ating mga sarili kung ano ang nararamdaman at nilalabas natin. At yung takot na yon ay kinakalaban natin. At hindi tayo kailangan makipagkompetensya sa ating mga sarili or sa ating mga kapwa-tao. Dahil tayo ang magiging salamin sa mga matang nakikita ng ibang tao. Because always remember that what you do to yourself dies with you. But what you do to humanity remains in eternal. Thank you so much. So once again, balak pa for our candidate number five, Ms. Karen Marquesin. And of course, our last candidate, our candidate number three, Ms. Hien Lavitori. So again, uh, pick your question, please. <laughs> the last question, I get medals on the wall. Yes. Madami pa yan. Madami pa yan. Okay. Okay, so here is your question. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? Okay, once again, here is your question. What, if anything, is too, is too serious to be joked about? Thank you very much. The question is, what, if anything, is too serious for other people to joke about? Definitely, as human beings, there are certain things that we do not like about our bodies. There are certain things that we feel ugly about. It is what we call the downside of being humane. But the serious thing about joking definitely is if you are going to make fun of another person. You pagtitripan mo ang ibang tao bukod sa sarili mo. Let's always choose to be kind and to be nice with our words and our actions. Why? Yes, all of us are happy right now. But behind some of those smiles, there are those problems faced by those people within their families, within their personal lives. So we don't know what's happening within their lives personally. So we always need to choose kindness and being nice with what we are going to do with our lives. Why do I say so? Dahil hindi po natin alam ang pinagdadaanan ng ibang tao. Kaya bago ka magbiro, dapat lagi mong pag-iisipan kung makakatapa, makakayura, kung mapagtatawa na ng isang tao. Because always remember that this is the reason why there is suicide and people killing themselves because of jokes taken too seriously by other people. Let's always take in mind that problems in the world socially start with human beings and will end by us being humans. Thank you and Once again, marami marami salamat po our cabinet number three is Gang Lapitora. So please, please stay here on stage. 